Hey, this is Charles Onyet with IGN, and I'm in the World v. World mode in Guild Wars 2 Arena Nets MMO launching on August 28th. And what this is, is this is a very large-scale PvP mode. So I am on a huge map with members of my team running around here. Um, you can see there are capture points all over the place. There are keeps, there are camps, there are towers you can capture. You can build siege weapons to bring them around to assault keeps, because keeps are worth more. Um, and the goal is to just capture and control more of the map. And then this isn't the only place. There are actually <laughs> four maps set up here with all sorts of different control points all over them. Um, again, very, very large scale, something that should ideally be fun into the end game, and hopefully something that doesn't just turn into a Zergy mess where it's just a matter of who has the bigger mob of players. But because uh, there are siege weapon elements, and you can do things like pour boiling oil from ramparts and things like that in defense. Hopefully that should make it a little bit more interesting. Now how this works is you can access this at any time. You don't have to be, like, end cap to get in here. And I'm actually scaled to 80 right now. My base level is 16. That's where I've gotten in the PvP, PV, I'm sorry, PvE uh, portion of the game. I actually have all my PvE gear on, too. It hasn't assigned me different stuff, which it does if you go into the PvP arenas. Then you sort of play as a preset um, with different gear and things like that. So it should be very familiar here. There are also PvE elements on the map, so the, you don't only kill uh, other players, but you will find uh, computer-controlled monsters and things like that standing around as well. I'm not sure why we're spending so much time on them here, but you can see I'm still gaining experience while I'm in this map, so it's not like I've completely halted my leveling progress by joining the World v. World conflict. Now, the World v. World conflict is also useful uh, for leveling because by doing well, you gain bonuses that apply to everyone from your server because that's, your server is basically represented in the World v. World conflict. It looks like there's a pack up here. We're going to want to take this guy down. So you can see everyone kind of converging, and you have this dynamic social element while everyone just decides to work together because it's to everyone's advantage. I just got an achievement. There's a very detailed achievement system in the game that tracks pretty much everything you're doing. That is a player. And that is a very dead player. I don't know if there are many more hiding around, but uh, like in the PvP arena modes, when you do kill a player, they enter a down state, um, so they don't instantly die. You do have to spend that extra time doing a, a kill shot on them, essentially, uh, to finally get them to die. So I don't know if we're actually going to be able to accomplish anything significant here, but we do seem to have a small squad of people running around going somewhere. <laughs> I'm just, I'm following the pack. Okay, we've got a combat zone up front. Up here, it's going to start getting a little laggy as there are a whole bunch of people. You can see the size of these maps. They're huge. And all of the action that could be going on on them, you can see players up on the ramparts here. They're, <laughs> it's just kind of a mess right now. It's it's total chaos. But if you are able to somehow organize uh, some kind of coordination within this mess, um, you know you should be able to do some uh, have a significant impact. Looks like we're trying to break in, and I mean, the way it's set up is that hopefully there's enough of a structure there that people don't get completely lost when the game launches. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to break this door down. You can see we have, there are two battering rams, flame rams, I'm sorry, sitting in front of the door. Everyone is dead up there because they're just getting rained on by firewalls <laughs> from the people on the the ramparts. I'm actually almost dead. I'm being really sloppy with my movement. I have to back up here. Um, the way I've got my heals right now, I mean, I can just use this as a heal, which I'm going to do right now because I don't see any enemies out here, so I do get some heal back. But when the Signet is active, it's a passive effect, and with every hit that I land, I actually gain health back. Um... Which works. Now, what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> yeah, he went back inside. <laughs> um, but yeah, I gain health back, which is why I'm using guns, because they fire very quickly, and I can do this attack. My three key, which fires a whole bunch of them. Ow. 
Ow. I do have my dodges, they're limited. But there, you can see I'm gaining health back as I'm shooting that bear in the face. Poor bear. But that's just how it is <laughs> in World v. World. So we're going to take him down with a rapid fire shot. No, nope, he's got quite a bit of health. And he just went inside the building, so good for him. Everyone's trying to fire at people up on the ramparts here. Oh, standing on a carpet of flame. And then everyone can revive, too. So you see these, uh, yeah. So I'm going to try and revive my friend here. You can see a whole bunch of players coming over to help out. Everyone's trying to get the revive off. We got it. I got to dodge out of here before I get killed by all these arrows and fireballs. Um, but yeah, anyone can revive. Anyone can help out. So it just encourages people to work together in a way that isn't complicated. So you're not sitting there saying, oh, well... You know, we need the one class that has the revive. You know, anyone can take care. Wow, that did a lot of damage. <laughs> Get out of there. <laughs> Ow. Let's see if I can... If I'm able to actually kill him before my bar runs out here, I can come back. I don't know if that happened or not. But here I have a, a friendly... Apparently doing a revive. There we go. I'm back up. Back in the fight. Don't have to respawn. Wow, there are, they've got assistance coming from all over the place. There, I just got a whole bunch of health back for using that, uh, using that rapid fire. I do have a very short duration stun. Looks like that person's down. I'm going to try and do the... Ow! I don't even know what hit me there. I'm going to see if I can... Nope, I'm not going to stay alive here. Yeah, there's the there's the kill shot, what that person just did, the the spinning knuckle to the face. So I unfortunately need to respawn at this point. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm sure this is just going to keep going on. There'll just be this battle here. Here comes another caravan that we'll probably take out. Um, you know, this this action just keeps going. It is, as, <laughs> as is this, as this title says, an internal battleground. So if you're ever thinking, oh, well, you know, my, my PvE experience is getting kind of dull with the events and stuff, you can come in here and you'll not only be fighting computer-controlled opponents, um, but, yeah, huge teams of other players. A bit chaotic, um, but uh, I think there's a lot of promise here. This might be one of the cooler parts of Guild Wars 2.